If you guys caught my tarantula tag or caught one of the tarantula tags that's going around, um, Jay also done one of those videos, as did I. It was a really fun thing to do, so Jay continued on, but he wanted to do kind of a snake version of it. Um, I thought it was really cool. I was glad that he nominated us to do it. So, mm -hmm. uh, Also in this video, my Repticon pickups, the snakes me April got. Oh God, I don't know where All to start. All the way back to Valentine's Day. Back it's been Valentine's so Day, yeah. i got <laughs> stuff to show you guys just all the way around. Um, these really cool, what did we call them? They're, They're just, called crazy bones, I believe. I actually saw these, I think, for the first time a couple years back. Reptile Jones got a, a couple of them, like the chameleon. We've seen them at the Repticons, but they're never for sale. And, and I saw them there, couldn't find them, and April finally found them on Amazon. So she ordered me a pile of those guys. Really cool. I'm going to use them to decorate the room with. Um, the other thing I thought was really awesome was this picture here. I mean, just really, really cool. She took uh, pictures that I had taken of different animals and had posted on Instagram, different places, and had them done in this awesome piece of artwork. <laughs> uh, I was so stoked when I opened that. And I mean, I got her a ferret and a ferret cage, and my creativity was nothing compared to hers. I, I really felt bad about it, guys. I mean, Man, I, I couldn't be this more year. pleased. And we'll show uh, Stinky Slinky later. He's got a really awesome cage, but. It's just too much in one video, so we'll definitely put him maybe in the next video or two so that you can get a little more, you know, shots of him. So. Um, the Reptile Junkie calendar, just epic, <laughs> guys. I mean, same thing. She went through and took different clips, you know, that I'd taken and, and got me a own calendar. I've had several people ask me, oh, I want one, you know. I'm sorry, guys, they're not for sale. It was just something she gave me. Uh, at the end of the video, I guess I'll go through each picture and, and show you at the end if you're curious about seeing it. Uh, all the way down to my own bear. I mean, guys, <laughs> I just, like I said, her creativity was super out of the box. Just go around. You know, I'm really lacking that field. I'm sorry, baby. I'll try to do better. <laughs> But uh, it's the thought that counts anyway, right? The reptile junkie <laughs> bear with a little hoodie. Uh, I got to get me a hoodie now. I know we're getting in the spring, but oh, yeah. I want a hoodie. And we're working uh, on some things. We've got a little bit of stuff coming later on that we're hoping to be able to make some of our own stuff like this. So. Yeah, we've been playing around. Uh, I got a sticker got maker, some, things like that yeah, playing with. Yeah, a little machinery you know. that we're going to see where it goes. And this is uh, <laughs> one, of my, one of my new snakes. Yeah. She even got me gummy bears. I mean, come on, you know. <laughs> I think How that's awesome technically that? a gummy snake, babe. I guess. The new pet. <laughs> I've, got, I've got the two new snakes over here. Um, I know one of the questions in the snake tag is to introduce a snake, so I figured we'd introduce those snakes at that question. Mm -hmm. um, the one that we're not going to go over now, but we are going to put some clips in, is the other edition that we got. Yeah, I got a uh, one in auction, guys, for Amazon Tree Bow. It's a, a really pretty garden phase. Um, it's hangs over in quarantine. It was an import. It's a well-established import, but 
I kind of threw a number out there on the auction. Didn't even think I even remotely was going to win it. Fortunate though that this guy is still okay with what we had happen with yeah, the mail. Yeah, this. So. Uh, if you guys there again, if some of you followed me on Instagram, you saw that that package ended up like in Memphis. It went from yeah. Florida past us to Memphis, and I mean, overnight. Wager FedEx set overnight in Memphis somewhere. I was shocked, but when it come in, it's just alive and thriving. I'll throw some clips in here somewhere of that snake, but. Uh, I didn't want to cross contaminate. Like I said, it is an imported snake, so I'm going to keep it away from the reptile room, away from you know all my other stuff, of course, for at least a month or two. Yeah. Uh, I know I've got that before in other videos, and, and yeah, I mean I'll quarantine it if I don't know the yeah. background of the animal. If we it's know our sources simple. and we trust them, like Jonathan, we we don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't worry about it. I know it's good. If he tells me he's had it for two or three months, I know that because he'll know, let us know. It's there for know. real. Yes. We need to do this, or no, we don't. So, but uh, I guess let's get on into these questions. We'll get through that. And all right, you ready? I guess ready as ever be. All right, question number one: Who got you into snakes? Um, I actually, I know we've done like a snake tag deal like this before. Um, and oh, wow, it, I, yeah, I really I enjoyed it. It's been maybe a year or so back, and uh, the same I got the same answer. I actually went back and watched that video and. Uh, that was uh, Okie Finoki Joe. When I was a kid, there used to be this show that came on. You can actually look it up. Uh, there's a couple of clips of it on YouTube. It was called Swamp Wise. And if you've not heard of it, don't feel bad. I hadn't either. He had to show it to me. Yeah, it was on like a public. <laughs> it was like public broadcasting uh, station that that he used to come on. And he had he's the coolest guy. You know, he lived off in the swamp. Uh, just all kind of stuff that he would do and show, and that kind of really sparked my interest, and also my family's hatred towards them. Uh, my mom is still terrified of snakes, and that pretty much all of your family members are not a not animal really, people like no. we are, and Mm-mm. that kind of actually fueled that curiosity. I guess you know why are they so terrified of this? And I mean, especially reptiles and yeah, snakes. Yeah, it's, it's a prime it instinct with folks, like so I, that's what got me into them. All right. Question number two. First snake. Um, the first snake I ever had for any length of time, and I, I told this story before also, was a green, just a regular green snake. Um, me and my dad had found the snake out scouting some hunting land, and we put it in my mom's food bag, her lunch bag, and give it to her. And when she opened it, you know, they were a pretty wiry snake, and that thing come wiring out of there. Oh, my God. I about killed kill my mom that day, and... She's terrified. Oh, she I is. mean, as just, bad as it gets. Yeah, she, like, like, pee herself terrified. Yeah. You put a tree frog in front of her, and she's like, oh, my and God. Gone. <laughs> so. And uh, so that was that was my first encounter with actually having one. My dad let me keep it for about three or four days, and we took it and released that snake. And then from there, I actually caught a king snake, and I had it. And I told April this story. I thought it was funny. <laughs> in an enclosure right up under my bed. Uh, a Tupperware, and I would go and actually shoot little birds with my BB gun, and that's how I fed that snake. And I kept it for I don't know how long? Like long. as long as he got away with his mom not finding yeah, it. Yeah, and then yeah. she found it, and <laughs> then it had you. to go. So, but uh, <laughs> that was my first one. All right, number three, uh, your favorite morph, and I know that's a tough one. Yeah, uh, I went through these questions and. Man, I still, I don't have a definitive on that. I think that. that's a tough one for anybody. I think with so a lot many. of people, you see stuff that sparks your interest for a while. I mean, mm-hmm. I really love highways. I hope at some point to get one. But there's some clowns that Beautiful. I would just love to have. Uh, to, just right now, I don't have the money to go out and blow. Yeah, and I, I don't mean it like blow like that. Like, I mean, it'd be worthwhile. But uh, just to invest in something like that right now that's a uh, in that's one a drop big, yeah and we're going to start drop. off a little lower and hopefully work our way up over a period that's of time. right but yeah it would have to be between clowns or a, a highway okay number four how many snakes do you own well that number just went up we done a couple of videos a while back a month or so ago and we was at 34 we added three in so now we're 37 snakes we went through it. Uh, just to make sure. To make we counted sure everybody. Again. Okay. Number five is introduce the snake. Cool. All right. Well, like I said, you know, we talked about um, the Amazon, but from the show, the show pickups, 
This was already out. This got is the labels out there. I remember mine finally. It took forever. This is the one name. April really <laughs> wanted, guys. Um, Killer Spinner Blast. Now, we've looked at a few uh, Morph Market and that kind of thing. That killer part is really kind of threw us off. So, if any of you guys can help us out with that. But, uh, I mean, just she done really good, guys, with this snake. Um, and it wasn't so much about what it has in it to breed or any of that. It just, I really loved this one. I went back to it, like, I don't know how many times. Even the guy that was selling it was like, she's been back here, like, seven times, Yeah, man. looking at it. <laughs> and it doesn't really, doesn't have a bad little wobble to her at all. Uh, she's a, a really awesome female, really well started. Well, the and people that don't like the wobble, for me, the spider's, Spider jeans, something about it always seems to catch my eye every oh, yeah. time. She's, she's They're just fine. beautiful. Yeah, it'll probably do it. I don't even think she'll even really do it. But uh, That was the one April pick, and we got stellar deal on both of these snakes as a pair. We bought you know two from him, so he was... He oh, yeah. Us a, Amazing deal. Heck of a deal. There's a little bit. You see how she kind of... I mean, that was it. Right, no, right she's, side up. So. She's just beautiful. I'm she's so gorgeous, impressed gorgeous. with her. But, so. uh, April's Killer Spinner Blast. Beautiful snake. Um, I'm interested I picked, to see what's going to happen with this next uh, one. <laughs> back. Yeah. Um, Grumpy. It's a <clears throat> Super Pastave Calico, guys. Oh, it didn't bite me this time. Yet. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous snake. I just, I love the fading. Um, you know, if y'all watched that Repticon video, I had my heart set. Um, a GHI Mojave, and I looked at a couple of them and just didn't feel right about them. That one with the cut on the back. and The other one, I don't think, was really color preference on those. Not it, for the amount really of It didn't have those bright saddles, you know. And uh, But I went back and forth to this snake. Just Beautiful. say the fading of that snake is, is gorgeous. A um, little bit smaller than what April got, but you know, there again, we went this time to kind of pick yeah. something we wanted, not for not just know, breeding, breeding. reasons and stuff, but both came out. Really like color wise. It'll be a while, but I can't wait to see what this snake right here turns into the bigger and bigger it gets with these fade spots and stuff. Yeah, they're both going to make really pretty girls as adults. I can't wait to see. Hadn't bit me yet. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Anytime. Really grumpy. The first night we had her, it was hilarious because ball pythons, she you know, you just, yeah, you don't usually see yeah. that. I mean, I'm not saying that we haven't seen it many times before, but it's just not as common of a behavior. Yeah. But she was actually jumping at him. It was quite comical <laughs> yeah. to watch. Like a spring. <laughs> it was almost like cartoonish. It, it was. was. Really funny. So. But that's, uh, that's my introduction to the two snakes and... Uh, I know it's supposed to be one snake, but hey, that's two, and that kind of puts my Repticon pickups out of the way, too. Yeah, not too. Guys, talking about Repticon, also, got to give a big shout out to my buddy Tim. Uh, Tim Fleming, he's, he said he's going to start doing some uh, some YouTube stuff. Um, he had not really got into it big yet. He's got a nice collection of animals, though, and but he actually met me at the show and brought me a, a nice enclosure with five pink toe tarantulas in it. I mean, he was just like, hey, I want these to have a good home. Yep. Do you want them? And I was like, sure. He brought them to us at the show. Tim, I appreciate that. And once you get your videos rolling, dude, oh, you you got a shout out, no doubt, man. That was so, really, really cool. Really appreciate you meeting us up there, dude, and, uh, and giving me those tarantulas. It was just awesome, stellar stuff. So. Very cool. All right, number six, where do you get your rodents? Um... We order all of our frozen thawed stuff from Perfect Prey. Uh, we've tried everybody else's. It's pretty much about the same, but Perfect Prey has just always been right on, you know, with our order. Uh, I get chicks and stuff too, and you know they I think usually we do get a little bit better of a price. It seems anyway. Yeah, a little bit a with little a bigger bit. order, bigger mm -hmm. quantities and stuff. Yeah, um, it depends definitely on how much your quantity is. So, but they usually have chicks in stock. Uh, I, I get chicks to feed, you know, to the monitors and stuff. So yeah, I really, I really like Perfect Prey for you know all my rodent stuff. Yeah, and their presentation's great. We never have had any like you know anything that right. was thawed out. They usually put a little pen and a note. I mean, they're really, yeah, yep. really cool people Let's as far as, as a business. Yeah, mm -hmm. really, really good folks. A perfect prey. All right, number seven. Favorite things about snakes. I thought that was a really hard one to you. 
Yeah, that's a that's a tough broad one. spectrum. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there, there's so much, guys. That I'm sure as the rest of y'all, you know, with uh, with any of us keepers, that that's why I have so many different varieties because there's so many things. Um, I would guess it would be their awareness, their situational awareness. Um, you know, I'd like to know what goes on in their brain when that tongue flicks and they taste a prey item or they taste danger or, you know, the, the response, how they view the world. I, I would really like to see that. Um, but, yeah, I would say situational awareness, just overall movement capabilities and how every little individual scoop works with itself to yeah. propel that snake really forward. really agile little critters. That's, uh, that would definitely be the, the thing right there. All right. Why did you pick the species of snake or snakes that you keep? Uh, uh, there again, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> Another hard one, huh? <laughs> I've, got, I've got a wide range. You know, I have stuff that uh, loves to be in the trees and stuff that loves to be on the ground. Um, we like a big variety yeah, of all of them, so we have a bunch. Some uh, some look at, you know, so... It just depends on the snake, right? It does. Um, I can't really narrow that one down. I guess that's why I have such a, a wide collection of different ones in there, because I, I really I enjoy, enjoy them all, you know. That's... Uh, um, mm -hmm. I can't even answer that one. Not straightforward. <laughs> can't do it. So I'm going to pass on that question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... You kind of answered it. It's like a half a point. There. I feel like I didn't answer it, but whatever. We'll yeah. say I answered it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Number nine. Favorite snake you own. That's also a tough one, but I think it's going to come down between two. Mm. You know, y'all probably think I'm crazy. Um, I love my tree snakes. Uh, it's going to come down between, like, my green tree in my cotton mouth, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that one Florida cotton mouth I have, and, and that's the difference between the two. You, you know, if you guys have been following me a while, one of my cottons is one I actually captured as a neonate in our local swamp. Um, the other one I picked up as a show was a captive-produced Florida cotton. And that snake sits, and I'm sure I'll throw a clip in here because I know he's sitting right there right now. He's always um, there. When I come in the door, he is right there where he can see out at what's going on. And he, that snake will actually eat uh, from tongs for me. Doesn't Insane. even strike it, just grabs it and eats it. It's pretty nuts. I mean, I'll never handle him. And that does not mean we are encouraging you to yeah, no, eat with short no, tongs to a venomous or long tongs no to a venomous snake. No encouragement on any hots, for sure. I always feel like i got to put that disclaimer out and there. And when he says tongs, they're really, really, really long, long. And uh, he's being very careful. So please don't don't yeah, interpret don't, that the wrong way. You, you know, I'm, I'm not the guy you ever see pull a snake out and be playing with it on the floor or any of that no. stuff. Um, those are my look at. Mm -hmm. You know, I like looking at them from a distance. But the personality is what we're really yeah, talking about. Uh, no, nah, but that would be the, the two. And with the green tree, you know, it's just, they're a little bit more challenging. Um, I really want an emerald tree, uh, a basin emerald tree, not a northern, because of the temperament, because I would like to have a little bit nicer one of those, I think. So yeah, because ours that's definitely smart. is like, you know, you put your hand anywhere in the vicinity, and oh, you're liable to get it. It's a <laughs> and, and, uh, But I, that's one tree snake I don't have that I do want to have, for sure. Okay. Number 10. Thank God. I feel like I'm rambling on. I'm like staring off and it feels like it's taking forever. <laughs> Who do you recommend to buy snakes from? Mm. And we've discussed this several That's times. That's tough. You know, um, I've done the auction thing. You know, uh, I've gotten, um, I guess, you know, I don't have a, a huge outsourcing of snakes that I've gotten. Most of my snakes have come from Repticons. Mm -hmm. Uh your Repticon, you know, you're going to find such good prices and able to kind of negotiate between people and stuff on deals. So you can always use to get a better price at a Repticon. That would have been my answer, too, for this one. And you're looking at the animal. But uh, I've got snakes that, that come from uh, Dave and Logan mm -hmm. Intelligent Design. They, Their animals are usually always on point, and I've never heard a bad story about them. So I've had a good mm -hmm. experience with them. And also... Uh, uh, Trig reptiles. I got two snakes of mine from him mm -hmm. um, when I was just looking for two bigger females to kind of go with with my banana, 
no and, complaints there either. Yeah, no complaints. But we say so. Repticon just because there's so many different vendors in one spot. It is. And, and there's so much to look at that you really just have such a huge quantity all in the same right. area. Yeah. And you can you actually physically put your hands on them. And, and you know, because I don't want... And they're not uh, tossed around... Up and down the the auctions are great, you know. <laughs> I mean, I have nothing against that at all, and that's why that's a tough question there too. I'm not saying, you know, if you see an animal that you want and got to have, and it's coming from one of them guys. Oh, yeah, you know, we love auctions right. too. But sometimes at auctions, people get in these chess matches, you know, like oh, and then they go for some outrageous prices too. So yeah. Pros and cons there. Pros and cons. The auctions are fun though. I've enjoyed it. Oh yeah. I from there and a lot of times it depends too on the time of the year. You know, if it's during the summer, we have no problem ordering, you know, most No, and that's another good point. Tax season. Mm -hmm. When tax time rolls around, guys, I was shocked we got the price we did of these two snakes Mm -hmm. just because of the time of year. Because people have expendable, you know, money to just blow. And and usually, you know, that's when they'll buy these higher-end animals. Mm -hmm. And so tax time's a time to avoid. You don't buy a car and you don't want to buy reptiles during tax time. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, now you have to do the question yes. and tag somebody. Jay asked me, my question was, um, why did I start the saltwater pond? Well, I had, and I went through my Facebook and found some pictures, so I'm going to throw some pictures up here of the before. But I had a 100-gallon cube, which is the turtles are in now, that I had my stingray in. I had one stingray in there, and it just grew and grew. And it was either the stingray was going to have to go, or I was going to have to get a bigger... A bigger deal and so that's where the reptile room the pond all transpired and I'm gonna throw some clips in here of the pond um, and so I added which also we had the banded shark too so we had the stingray and the banded cat shark and I've got pictures too I know of that cat yeah. shark and he, they were really actually, little where's he at I, I think like, he's on the calendar he is in the calendar mm-hmm. that cat shark was like that big and now you know he's, he's like that I mean they're gonna have to go bigger at this point or He's going to have to end up going Well, that's like the saltwater tank here. You know, we've had that hippo tank since it was itty-bitty, and we had a little tiny cube tank that all this stuff started in, and we've had that fish, what, probably as long as Cameron. Yeah, it's as old as Cameron. But, yeah, that's that's where the pond originated. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. It was just (laughs) like, what do we do to buy an an aquarium, 300 gallons, uh, because that's how big the pond is. It's almost six foot around, centrifugal, and 300 gallons Mm -hmm. with a 150-gallon sump, which is about half full. So we're going to call it 375, 400 gallons of water. Mm -hmm. Um, I would have to have my floor reinforced and just all kind of stuff, and it was going to cost a pile. So the cattle trough, and that was actually... Uh, two years ago, three years ago now Mm -hmm. that that we've done that. And uh, before YouTube, you know. Yeah. That's kind of what started the whole YouTube thing. It was. I had posted, actually, on a couple of forums, I posted, like, little video clips of my saltwater uh, pond and stuff. We also had a big uh, goldfish pond. And um, I was just getting inundated with questions. Oh, you should put a YouTube video of how you built it. So that's, if you go back, I think I posted a couple of, like, just dumb cell phone videos on there and then I posted my very first like video and it was a lot more awkwarder than I am now I know I'm still awkward on camera (laughs) but oh it's the hardest thing in the world to talk to that camera and I had to go through and I explained the pond and and all that and uh just sprang up from there all of our animals we had ended up out there and it's just we had some actual room to add some others without filling the house up and some stuff that we needed to kind of keep all in the same area with the same humidity that made a lot easier too yeah all the animals being out there the humidity stays good with the pond the temperature the pond helps keep the temperature stable um and so I, my animals have thrived out there, you know, so it's just been an all-around good thing. It really has. Okay. So who are you going to tag, and what do you want to ask them? I'm going to tag my buddy Bryce, uh, Righteous Reptiles. <clears throat> um, he's been a subscriber of ours since the beginning. Long time. And he's an awesome kid, lives in South Africa. And he That's actually tagged me stuff. for the original snake tag video. He tagged us 
So, and he's also tagged me to do some poetry we've done at one time. I so. love his uh, tortoise pen bill. That's so just, cool to watch. I can't, I can't. There's a bunch of them. highly but, enough yeah. of Bryce, guys. He you know, he's hard in on his Africa stuff. and just Animal Playground. He's been going through classes on venomous stuff. I mean, the kid is going to go places if he continues down the road he's going. Um, really bright future, bright kid. Very bright future. I'm going to leave a link to his channel. But, Bryce, you're tagged. you got to answer the 10 questions. I'll make sure I'll leave them all below like Box and Bowen did. Had to jump in here real quick, guys. In my rambling, I forgot. I was supposed to also ask Bryce a question as Jay had asked me a question. My question for you, Bryce, was, out of all the African animals, what is your favorite African animal? That was my question. I forgot to throw it in there, so I had to stop it real quick, throw it in. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, guys. Appreciate it. Jay, I appreciate it, man. Uh, once again, Tim Fleming, appreciate the spiders. I guess that's it. Is it done? Really? That's the uh, 10 questions? Yeah, but I did want to add one thing. Talking uh, about it was coming. leaving a link below. I, we keep forgetting to do this. Alyssa's channel. Guys, you know, and I keep forgetting to do it. My little girl, she does Beanie Boos. And she has so many Beanie Boos, <laughs> it is unreal. So yep. we've actually posted, I think, two videos so far on her channel. Really starting to just get it rolling. I'm going to leave a link to her channel, Firecracker Beanies. And my little girl, can I go over and check she out her stuff? She put some of the animals in hers. Just yeah, we'll be using some animals with the Beanie Boos. So y'all make sure. you kids especially, check, check it out. out. Um... If you can't find it, you can look under ours. We're subs, so that might be an easier yeah, way to find also, it. Also, uh, Bill, BC Pythons, his little girl, she does a uh, one too. It's LPS uh, uh, dragon. dragon. That's right. Mm -hmm. So y'all check out hers as well. And uh, these little kids that are coming up, there's another one that's a uh, cat. I just started watching her stuff. Uh, my buddy Ray, Jeepers Creepers Tarantulas. His little niece, she's another one that's coming up into the reptile stuff. So I'll leave a link for that one below. Yeah. So there's three shout outs right some there. Love, you know, they're just getting into this stuff, and it makes them really happy to see that you're, you know, yeah, coming out to support them. Yeah, because the kid, these kids are the future of this hobby. That's right. We need to encourage that, guys, grow them up so it'll be around when we're old. You know, yeah. somebody to take the torch and run with it. I'm well, rambling it. like typical. <laughs> that's it. That's all I got. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks as always for watching. Stay safe. Have a great rest of the weekend, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.